Hill and a grist mill wheel. Plank bridge and a clay road always make me feel at home. I know I'm close to home. A cane mill and a rising still. Sleeping to the sound of a whippoorwill makes me feel I'm close to home. It makes me know I'm home. Southeast Georgia is blessed with wide rivers flowing to the Atlantic. And the mightiest of them all is the Altamaha. Formed by the Okmulgee and Oconee Rivers, the Altamaha drains almost a quarter of the state. This is also a region of pine trees. For generations, the pine forest rang with the songs of the turpentine crew, especially in Appling County, which was known as the turpentine capital of the world. The turpentine industry here began just before the Civil War. Back then, the pine tar and pitch, known as naval stores, were used to protect wood and ropes on sailing ships. By the end of the 19th century, hundreds of people were working in the forest, collecting gum from the slash and longleaf pines. I was born in the turpentine industry. Uh, I started working in there when I was five years old, uh, helping my father, and uh, there was a lot of farmers here also, and, and other kind of businesses too, but the big thing was the turpentine. The, that's where most of the money come from. Turpentining meant hard labor, year-round. Many workers lived with their families in special shanty camps, buying supplies on credit from the camp store and rarely getting out of debt. A unique culture of words, songs, and skills developed. In the spring, they would prepare the pines. Each worker could be responsible for up to 12,000 trees. They drop you out at seven o'clock in the morning and we had to chip the trees at that time uh, all day long. Then the, after one month, they start dipping every month, dipping the tar up and hauling it into the mill. In the fall, the last thing they do when, they get, when it's time to quit, they go in there and scrape everything that's left on that tree off with a, with a scraper. They had a steel scraper, and that was a lot of fun too. At the still, the gum was distilled into turpentine for paint thinners and varnishes and rosin for paper, soap, ink, and other products. Turpentine was Appen County's liquid gold for more than half a century. But then, in the 1950s, the price of timber rose. Originally, each tree would produce its value each year in gum. If a tree was worth a dollar, you'd get a dollar's worth of gum out of it a year. Well, after a while, it got where that tree was worth $20, you know, and, and it, it wasn't worth worth working it. High labor costs, foreign competition, and new ways to produce turpentine weren't far behind. Now, only one plant remains, and most of its raw materials are imported. The songs of the turpentine crews may have faded away, but their stories and culture have not. Baxley celebrates them every year with Tree Fest. Um. Oh my goodness, I'm like, you had to go. Woo! Look at me! Look at me! 